down and we're on the move. All the beekeepers are moving their bees at the moment. There's trucks and forklifts and shit going everywhere. So we're just heading out with our big car trailer. We're the, <laughs> we're the, we're the fucking, I don't know what sort of edge of beekeeping we are, but in comparison, we're doing all right. And the good thing about us guys is, we're small enough that you can come along and see what's happening. Well, we're not watching the sunset. We're actually gonna just pick a few boxes up and start moving them off the orchard. So we'll just get a couple and put them down to the scrub just to see whether they find any flowers. Well, there is a few flowers down there just to see whether there's anything worth working. And um, yeah, then basically get them off the paddock so they don't get covered in spray. So we've moved up a little bit from our wooden ramp that you saw us use last time with our little lifter. Um, so I've got myself a bit of a metal ramp made up. So hopefully it works a bit better. So we're just gonna have a little bit, we're just gonna move a couple of boxes around down to the scrub tomorrow morning just to give this thing a bit of a run and figure out what's wrong and what's good and what's bad. So welcome along. Try me out, I think. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Might have ended up a little bit steeper than I anticipated, but anyway. Oh, come on! Oh dear. Why do engineers make everything so fucking perfect? <laughs> Anyway, we better untie our little lady. Uh, we've had a pretty good run with this battery. It hasn't even gone flat yet. Mind you, we've only been playing around, haven't we, really? Oh, like a wild bull. <laughs> Did want them to get away. <laughs> we'll stuff a bit of paper in their holes so as that we don't get completely overrun with bees when we try to move them. Because these ladies are a little bit toey. Uh, we'll see what happens. At least it's a bit wider. <laughs> but it's a bit of a bit steep. But we'll see. Whoa! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> maybe I should put a bee suit on, what do you reckon? <laughs> and maybe light the smoker. And all of those things that beekeepers are meant to do. <laughs> Really keen you could have brought a little saucepan with you and made a cup of tea. You know, get sick of being beekeepers. <laughs> we could always invent a little a bellows instant hot water service. Anyway, we'll see what goes on. We'll lift our little girls up, run them up the ramp if we're lucky. If not, we might just go home and have some roast pork. We got roast pork for dinner apparently. The lad's got organised and hopefully we get some crackling. Here we go, let's see if we can get up the ramp, eh? Rum, 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 rum. Oh. It's nice, eh? <laughs> That's a bit better than a wooden ramp. If you happen to be watching this bee, Louie, I do realise we could lift the bee boxes on without the ramp. I am just ad-libbing. So if you think this is a good idea, maybe we can come to an arrangement and I can make the ramps and you can make the lifts. Although I didn't make the ramp anyway. <laughs>
picked up some ladies last night and we're just going to take them down to the scrub and see whether they these are like the reconnaissance bees so they're just going to check out what sort of flowers are around that they might like and then if it's good we'll bring some more down here if not we might move them around on the farm and there's a few spots up home that they can go oh it looks like we made it safe so we'll see what happens here we'll see if we can get everybody off without getting a bee sting that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Normally these girls are a bit silly, but maybe they're a bit maybe they're a bit punch drunk on all the almond pollen. That's what it is. <laughs> they're in there saying, pass the pina coladas. <laughs> but I, well, actually, hang on. It's just sunrise. Hopefully they're having coffee at the moment. Otherwise they'd be they'd be pretty in trouble, wouldn't they? <laughs> Although I suppose it's after midday somewhere. Let's see what we can get off here. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I'll get the hook and see whether that works. <laughs> the engineer dude that I got to make this for me, he said, oh, you're gonna be doing this on your own? And I said, yeah, probably. And then I tried to reach across there and I said, shit, that's, uh, my arm's not long enough. So he said, hell, I'll just make you a captain hook and then your arm can be a bit longer. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> wow, Walking hell, eh? I, was, I had a bit of a chuckle, but that actually works really good. <laughs> That's a little bee wiggle. <laughs> anyway. Oh dear. Hello. Poor Mr. Captain I lift. Didn't know what fucking problem it was going to get in and getting bought by me, did it? <laughs> I don't know. We've still got full charge, so I don't know how that works. I hope it's not like that bloody old Holden cars used to be. You'd have a full tank of fuel and then when it went down to half a tank and then it went woof. So I don't know whether that was a fuel gauge it was just shit or what the go was. Well that seemed to work. <laughs> Maybe we need the four wheel drive version. <laughs> I must reread that email from um, um, William because he said he's got one of these and he, they had put different wheels on it. Oh, Shabbat! <laughs> Awful bit rude! <laughs> oh, no, no, John. <laughs> he stands for a bit of a problem. without even me back feeling like shit. I might even be able to touch my toes. No, fuck, they're too far away. <laughs> Actually, if I touch my toes with my suit on and my big fat belly, I'll probably split the ass out of my pants. Hang on, does that count? <laughs> oh, there you go, look at that, I did it! Wah! <laughs> If you're ever in Loxton and you'd like some steel fabric, you'd like someone to make you a ramp, you can nip into Schultz's Engineering and he might weld some shit together for you. He's not sponsoring the show by the way, he's probably still going to send me a bill. <laughs> so this is the catching on bar, so when you pull it out, if you stuff it up, you actually the little lips land on that, so then you can just lift it back up to put it onto this mount. He even left my bit of rough ass welding on there, which is quite impressive. This bit of shit I welded on there for the other old wooden ramp. So, and now we've got another tie rail. So, I don't know. I reckon it's pretty bloody chuffed, I am. Link all and all. 
in the interim to becoming a big time beekeeper, this is going to be quite cool. <laughs> I was just thinking, all the little ladies are just waking up and they're going, I don't know, where the fuck are we now? And Margaret says to Gillian, Fuck me, Gillian, I thought that was an earthquake, but you're right, I think we've moved. <laughs> it's them fucking white polar bears, that's what it is. <laughs> A dust lot. <laughs> so, my plan of actually getting the brood into a circle so they will be easy to split in half isn't been 100% successful on every box. But I was just having a look in this one as we were checking the health of them all, and I thought I'd show you down the bottom here where the brood would normally be, and where they normally they you put a cover on there and hold them in there and try and keep them warm. But the girls have actually run upstairs, so there's nothing down the bottom. But the girls have run up into the Shit. So the girls have run up into the honey super and made their little nest up here, but they're about, these girls might not make it because they're in all sorts of strife, but oh, I thought that's pretty clever because there's a fair bit of honey still up here. Well, there you go. There's a few coming out to say hello. So hopefully, hopefully they can reboot from there and away they go into the spring. But who knows, eh? Spring has sprung and we'll put them back to bed. So we'll just strap them back up. And then we'll come back in a day or two and see whether, what they're doing. Have a look at some of the fauna and flora. There's a little, there's only really ground cover here. There's a bit of mallee flowering, but there's only a bit of ground cover. So hopefully they'll find something to nibble on. I was reading about, um, I was doing a lot of research about what bees eat and there's this really cool, hell, they've been researching this shit since the 1960s, or well, probably before that, but in Australia, the 1960s, they wrote a bee report. And one thing I thought was really cool that gets a mention in every report that I've ever read is that if Salvation Jane is a really cool plant for them. So, and it's been almost outlawed by all the pastoralists and people and all the rest of it. If you happen to have a hobby farm full of Salvation Jane, give me a shout out.